how to multiply complex numbers. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to multiply complex numbers like the one you see on the top left of your screen. We'll spend the first half looking at expressions like that, and the second half we will look at a special case of multiplying complex numbers involved called the complex conjugates, and they look like 3 plus 7i times 3 minus 7i. All right, this tutorial can be found on our website. You can go to mathwarehouse.com slash complex where you'll find this tutorial, many other practice problems, and other goodies like free worksheets with answer keys on complex numbers. All right, uh, before we approach a problem like the one on the top left, I want to take a step back and look at something that should be prerequisite knowledge before approaching complex numbers. This is a lesson you probably learned a year or two before learning complex numbers, which is multiplying um, binomials. <clears throat> 2 plus 5x times 3 plus 4x and there's a good chance that you were told to use a method called FOIL where you multiplied the first 2 by the 3, right? 2 times 3 where you got 6. Then you did the outers 2 times 4x, right? That's the O in FOIL. 2 times 4x which gave you 8x. Then there were the inners, i. So the i is 5x times 3, which is 15x. And the lasts, 5x by 4x. The last is 5x times 4x, or 20x squared. And if you remember the, this old lesson, after you applied this, um, you then added up your products. So you ended up with 20x squared plus 15 plus 8 will give you 23x plus 6. Right, so FOIL is just a way uh, that people use to remember the steps you go through to multiply two binomials, which are, which is the set of steps we'll basically be going through to multiply two complex numbers. A complex number is very similar, uh, in this case, very similar to what we were just working with. All I did was switch the x with an i. And just like 2 and 5x are not like terms, and, and we can't combine the 2 and the 5x, you cannot combine the real numbers, 2 and 3, with the imaginaries, 5i and 4i. So in terms of this process, you can just treat the i like an x, in that we're just going to apply a regular old FOIL, and then we're going to, as in the last problem, simplify. And when we simplify, it'll be a little bit different. But let's just apply FOIL. Let's do 2 times 3, or the first, right, which is 6. The outers, which is 2 times 4i. Which becomes 8i. The inners, 5i times 3, which is just 15i. And the lasts, 5i times 4i, which gives you 20i squared. So, so far, we've actually done almost nothing different from the problems you knew how to do. Instead of an x, we have an i. And the, here is the one catch. If you remember, i squared is actually negative 1. If i is the square root of negative 1, right, i squared is negative 1. And therefore, this bottom term actually becomes negative 20. Once we've simplified the i squared term, we're going to do what we did in the last problem, which is add them all up. So 6 minus 20 is negative 14. And we have 23i, right? Very similar to what you used to do. In fact, the only difference, aside from the x being an i, in, in terms of the steps that you go through, the only difference is the fact that you have to remember i squared is actually negative 1. So the, the squared term goes away. All right, let's try another, uh, another problem. Let's multiply 4 times 5, the first. 4 times 5, which is 20. The uh, outer, which is 
4 times 7i or 28i. The inner, which is negative 2i times 5, which gives you negative 10i. And the last, negative 2i times 7i, which is negative 14i squared. Right, so this is 20, this is 28i, negative 10i, and just remember i squared is really the same as the number negative 1. So it's really negative 14 times negative 1 or positive 14. All right, so just like we did here or even in your algebra 1 days, we're now going to just add up all these terms. 20 minus 14 is going to give us 6, plus 28i minus 10i is 14i. Right, so that's it for multiplying complex numbers. You basically just use the same rules you did when you learned how to, um, when you were multiplying regular binomials. And just keep in mind that that i squared time term always simplifies to be negative 1. Alright, now let's look at the special case of complex conjugates and let's actually just do them like normal and at the end you'll see that there's a certain, uh, you'll see why it is, con it is considered a special case of multiplying complex conjugate, uh, of multiplying complex numbers. Okay, you know the deal, we're just going to apply our foil. First, 3 times 3, which is 9, outers, which is 3 times negative 7i, or negative 21i, let me write this 9 down here, enters 7i times 3, which is 21i, and lasts. 7i times negative 7i, which is negative 49i squared. So we have 9, we have negative 21i, we have positive 21i, and we have positive 49, right? i squared negative 1, and, and that makes the entire term positive. So you may see, already you've noticed the special situation which involves the i terms. 9 plus 49 is going to be 58, but the i's, we have 21i and negative 21i, which becomes 0. So when we multiplied this complex conjugate, we ended up having a real solution, right? Complex numbers have a real part. Complex numbers, remember, they have a real part and an imaginary part, right? This is the real. A plus bi, this is the imaginary. Imaginary. When we multiply two complex conjugates, <coughs> the interesting thing is that your solution is a real number. And let's see, you'll see that that, that is true for the next problem too. When we FOIL this, 5 times 5 is 25. The outers uh, negative 55i, the inners, positive 55i, and the lasts are um, negative 121i squared. So this becomes 25, negative 55i, positive 55i, positive 121. So your final answer is 146. Again, two complex conjugates, when you multiply them, you end up with a real solution, or a real, um, an equivalent answer that is real. All right, that's it for um, how you multiply complex numbers. Feel free to uh, check out our website if you want more practice on, on the webpage itself, or if you'd like to download the free worksheet with the answer key. Thanks a lot.